Hello friends, this video on body movements part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Finally, the skull bones. Now there are 22 bones present in the skull. The number is large, but have you noticed that there are no movement in the skull? Your skull doesn't move, it is a fixed hard structure. Why is that? Because the joints in the skull bones, they are all fixed joints. They are immovable joints, so they do not allow movement. So these skull bones are made up of two types of bones, cranial bones and facial bones. So cranial bones forms the cranium of the brain. That is, they form this part of the brain. So there are a total eight cranial bones and facial bones, they form the front part of the skull. So facial bone would form all these parts and cranial bones will form this part. So facial bones, there are 14 facial bones, a lot of bones on the facial part. So let us look at the various bones which are present in the skull. So when we talk about the cranial bones, so frontal bone, this blue region which you see that is the frontal bone. Next is the parietal bone, the pink region that you see is the parietal bone. Sphenoid bone, so this is sphenoid. Temporal bone. So the green one is temporal, occipital bone, occipital is the brown one and finally ethmoid bone which is the purple bone, small purple thing that you see here that's ethmoid bone. So these are the various eight, these are the different bones which together form the cranial part of the nerve. So when you look at the frontal bone, it forms the, the blue part, it forms the forehead part. When you look at the pink thing, that is the parietal bone. So that forms the top of the uh, skull as well as the sides of the skull. So the top, this is the top and these are the two sides. Now this side is visible to us, the other side is also parietal bone. The sphenoid bone, so it, it forms the posterior, it, it forms the base of the skull. So the frontal part forms the forehead, parietal forms the top and the sides and sphenoid forms the base of the skull. Skull means the cranium part of the skull. Next is temporal and it forms the portion behind the ears. So behind the ears you have a part of the skull and that is the temporal bone. Occipital bone is the back of the skull. So occipital would form the back of the skull, parietal would form top of the skull plus the sides, frontal would form the front part that is the forehead and ethmoid forms the floor of the skull. So it, form, it is present at the center of the nose, just behind the nose. So temporal bone is present behind ears and ethmoid bone is present behind nose. So that means you see these are the different bones which together form the cranium part of the skull. So in a similar way you can also have a look at the various facial bones which are present. Now there are many, there are total 14 facial bones that are present. So let us quickly have a look at them. So here the blue part that you see what is that? That is nothing but this frontal bone which is a part of the cranial bone. Now, when we talk about the facial bone, it, it is these are these are the facial bones, the yellow ones, the brown one. The, so all these form the facial bones. So lacrimal bone, mandible. So mandible is this part. So this is mandible, the lower jaw part. Lo, lower the, it is basically the lower jaw bone. So you see this bone is movable because we are able to move our lower jaw. That is because this uh, bone is this, the joint which is involved in the lower jaw is not a fixed joint. So that is why we can move it. Maxilla, maxilla is the upper jaw bone. So upper jaw bone is again fixed. So because you have fixed joints there. So where do you see maxilla? You see it here, the cream color thing that you see is the upper jaw bone. Next is nasal bones which are present in the uh, nose area. So you have it here, the nasal, jones, nasal bones. 
inferior nasal concha so these are also the bones which form the sides of the uh, nasal cavity so the nose itself has a lot of bones involved so these nasal bones and inferior nasal concha they are part of the nose bones palatine bones so palatine bones they form the back of the mouth so inside the mouth the back side the roof of the mouth all of those also contain bones zygomatic bones the cheeks cheek bones are the zygomatic bones so these are zygomatic bones now you might not find all of these in your textbooks but why why i am telling is you should know these things because these are part of our body so even if you don't remember the names exactly but at least when we talk about it you get to know that okay these are all separate bones which we see on our face which we see on our body vomer so it is the bone which forms the nose tip so the bone forming the nose tip is vomer so you see on our face itself we have so many bones so when you look at all of these skull bones you see that most of the skull bones are not movable because those bones are joined together by fixed joints only the lower jaw bone that is mandible is movable other than that all other uh, skull bones are mostly not movable thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again